it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. I went back to Japan a while ago and uploaded a food vlog in Tokyo last time. This is the first video of a two part series of my Mia trip. This one focuses on my visit to Visen, a brand new resort village in Mia. This resort has a lot of great food and souvenirs there, so I hope you enjoy the video. Mie is next to Kyoto and Osaka, and it's famous for Ise Jingu, that is one of the most famous shrines in Japan. It's also famous for Matsuzaka beef, which is one of the premium wagyu and it also piles them more. This is the entrance of the new commercial resort called Bisan in Taki Town. There are great restaurants and cafes, unique fruit shops, markets, and a hotel resort. It was a rainy day, so video clips have a lot of grey, but it was a really fun place to visit. I love the modern wooden architecture, and there are so many lovely crafted shops. You can go there by car or highway bus from Nagoya and other stations. First things first, we came to this great soba restaurant where my friend's husband works as a soba chef for lunch. We are lucky to get an alley before the lunch rush. I like the simple yet and stylish interiors and open kitchen. We have some appetizers before our soba noodles. This tofu was very tasty and we ate it with some soy sauce and cold salt. Very simple, but the tofu itself had a strong soybean taste, so we loved it so much. This great miso was a hit too! We couldn't stop eating it. Great with beer and sake. Now our mains, the soba noodles arrived! Yato, yato! If you like something spicy and refreshing, try this one. The sesame sauce soba was quite special and rare to find. My dad loved it. This is my husband's favorite. It's with Japanese limes called sudachi and it's beautiful and very refreshing. The soba noodles have a nice firm texture and are really amazing. I often make a similar soba noodle dish called lime soba at home in the US and I posted a recipe video before. So please find the video in the description box if you're interested. Super easy recipe. After lunch, we did some shopping. These quite shops sell their special Japanese ingredients such as kombu, mirin, and miso. First, we came to this kombu shop. There are a lot of kombu products that I've never seen that many at once. These are kombu chewy candies. I tried them and they're actually really good. Kombu is great for your health and it has a lot of umami. So if you like kombu, get some souvenirs here. Next, we went to a mirror shop. They make their mirror in the shop. And there are some large tanks of it there. You can have a sample there and it was very dense and a tasty mirin. It could be the best mirin I've ever had. These are their original drink recipes and you can mix with beer, soda, tea and other drinks. Mirin is usually for cooking. But since this is a special milling, we can drink it too. Our next stop was a miso shop. I love miso, so I enjoyed this shop the most. 
There's so many kinds of miso there, and you can buy it in small amounts. This maro miso is mainly for dipping, so you can eat it with some veggie sticks. You can join their workshop to make your handmade miso. We didn't have the chance this time, but I want to try it on my next visit. Can we stop at the Japanese Sweets Cafe for a break? This company, Imuraya, is very famous for red bean sweets in Japan. First, I got this traditional green tea, which came with little red bean sweets. I used to learn tea salmon etiquette when I was a kid, but I forgot what I learned, so how I'm drinking the green tea here probably isn't right. My mom ordered a popular Japanese summer sweet, walabi mochi. You dip walabi mochi into the kinako powder or black sugar syrup to eat it. Lighter and more refreshing than a usual white mochi, so try it! And we ordered some more sweets. All the red bean sweets are delicious, and they have many kinds. Great place to have a break! There are more shops there, and you can spend a day if you wanted to. So many great Japanese ingredients are sold at each place. I hoped I could bring back all of them to the US. This shop had a good quality tableware. It was all a bit pricey, so I enjoyed just looking. There are several delicious looking cafes you can try, and the markets and the food stands if you want to just snack on something. I really recommend this result if you are into Japanese food or this is your return visit. If you want, you can stay at this hotel right next to all the restaurants and the shops. Convenient! Thank you so much for watching! In the next video, I'll show you the awesome hot springs place we stayed at in Mie and some more sightseeing spots. Please look forward to the next part of the Mia Trip video. I'll be posting more food vlog and the Japanese recipe videos, so hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. See you! Matane!